All right, my name is Russ Burns. My PDG number is 11699. I've been playing disc golf about 20 years. Um, some friends of mine over at Fossa Bags wanted me to do a little review of the uh, new backpack that will be coming out in March. Um, so I think that's what we'll do. We'll go ahead and get started. Um, we start with the sides here. Uh, you notice it's got a, got a water bottle holder here. It is insulated. Um, looks like you fit fairly large. This is a 32 ounce um, aluminum uh, bottle, but uh, it fits comfortably. You can tighten that up, it looks like. Um, also on the side, it has a cell phone holder. Um, it's pretty big, actually. I have the new iPhone 6, so and it fits in there pretty comfortably uh, with no problems. Um, it's got two pockets over here. It's got one small pocket, um, perfect for a set of keys, or in my case, I, um, I got a little bit bigger set of keys, but uh, we'll use it on the other side. But anyway, I put my hacky sack in there. You've got, you still got quite a bit of room in there uh, for something small. Um, not really sure what else you could put in there, but this other pocket, it's uh, really cool. It's it's really large. The zipper goes all the way around. Um, it's you know three quarters of the bag high, so you can put several different things in there. Um, I honestly uh, put uh, several towels in there. I think I had you know four or five towels at the last tournament. I actually used this one time, actually the winter blast just about a week ago. But I put all my towels in here. Had plenty of room for them. I'm sure you could. Uh, Definitely put like a, a windbreaker or something uh, comfortably in there, but I just used mine basically, for, like I said, for my towels and had plenty of room uh, to do that. So that pretty much uh, takes care of that side. Um, got it filled up. The other side of the bag has got your, yeah, it looks like your putter patch. Um, I think you could fit two putters in here. I did pretty comfortably. Um, these are big beat AVRs, um, and it was big beat AVRs there. Also, um, I found you can fit several different uh, minis in here. Uh, I got my metal mini, and then I've got my daughter's uh, mini here, the baby monkey. Um, right here, this little pocket on top, uh, for me, it was absolutely perfect for my, my keys. I really have too many keys, but uh, it was perfect for that for me. Um, there is a little side, or it's kind of like a, almost like a hidden pocket here. Uh, you can't see it. Uh, I guess you can if I tilt it over, but basically it's, it's fairly large, and I, I found that a perfect place for my wallet. Uh, that's what I put in there as my wallet. Um, you could put, you know, several other things in here, um, depending on what you needed and what you carry. Over here, it looks, um, this pouch was... Uh, perfect for a stool. Um, you slip it right underneath this this Velcro loop. You can actually um, make it larger just by unvelcroing it. But I had no problem getting my my stool in there. You can tighten this up if you wanted to, but I, I really didn't find that I needed to at all. Um, so that kind of takes care of the sides. Uh, notice here on the front, you've got. This loop here, um, perfect for bag tag. That's what uh, we used. Our sports like everybody around the country has got bag tags now. This is actually the Ozarks Flying Disc Club tag. Pretty cool. Um, it's got a clip over here, uh, perfect for my towel um, that I use just as kind of my dry towel, real quick. Um, down below, kind of has your standard umbrella holder. Um, up here. I actually pulled that out earlier, didn't place it right, but you can see it's really simple to undo and do. Uh, I did the same thing with this one as well, but not a big deal. You just loop it through the loop there, pull it out. Um, you can size it however big you want it, but uh, I'm doing a wonderful job on that part. Sorry about that. But anyway, you get that thing tied in there. You pull this out, you get it tight in there. Hold your umbrella, pretty snug there. Um, the top part of the bag, uh, I found very impressive. I, I really liked it. Um, right here, if you see the top, it's got a huge pocket in here. 
Uh, I actually put a put a disc in here earlier, didn't take it out. But I wanted to show you. I've got uh, I've got a hoodie here that uh, I kind of folded up a little bit, but a pretty thick hoodie. I found that you can fit that in there comfortably, and I was actually uh, kind of messing around to see what all I could fit in here. I can put a disc in there comfortably, uh, carry it around. But what I found was really crazy is that I see a lot of people that love to fill up bags and see how many discs they can fit in there. And I was impressed that I was able to fit over 10 discs in this top compartment and had no problem doing it. And that's, that's, there's a putter in there, there's some uh, fairway drivers, some high speed drivers. And if you wanted to, I personally wouldn't, but you could definitely fit several discs in there. But uh, for sake of ease, I'm going to go ahead and take these out and uh, put my hoodie back in there. Just kind of see how it looks filled up when we get done here. So I'm going to zip that up here. One of the features I really liked was that the, these have two different pencil holders and your scorecard holders right here on the top. Um, I have used bags in the past where the card holders are on the side. Uh, sometimes I'm always, oh, which side is it on? This is right there, your face, bang, uh, really easy to use. So that, that worked out really well for me personally. Um, as far as the inside of this bag and how many it holds, uh, again, I was pretty impressed. It's a, the backpack doesn't look as big as some of the other models, so I kind of wondered how many discs you could fit in there. But if you notice the inside frame, it's real similar to uh, some of the other frames. It's Velcroed, um, Velcroed on the bottom. It's, it's actually a little bit heavier, um, a little bit more sturdy than some of the other ones I've seen. So, but you can, you just put it in there fairly simply. Um, and then what I want to do is to fill this thing up uh, uh, really quickly though. I found this, this um, flap just slides in there really uh, nicely. I actually put my uh, my mid-range disc, my rock here, at the tournament. I was able to put it right here, have it really quick, um, perfect. So then I, I started putting a disc in here and I just uh, really couldn't believe how many you could actually fit. So I'll show you. We'll count these here in a minute. And notice there's uh, two, there's two mid-range discs right there. Hey, there's a fossa disc right there. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and keep on shoving these in. I say shoving, there's still plenty of room. I'm not going to overfill the bag at all, but I do want to show you that there's plenty of room in this bag, even though it's one of the, uh, the, one of the smaller backpacks that I've seen. It's more compact. I don't want to say small because it's not small, but it's definitely compact. But uh, here we go. We've got, um, notice there's a couple more. Uh, there's, there's another putter, another AVR. So here's another AVR. Let's see, I'm not gonna put that one. I'll put this one on this side real quick. And so that's pretty that's pretty full. Um, there's there is still some some play over here on each side, but comfortably I think that's that's the limit. Um, so let's go ahead and count these. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, about 21 discs in the compartment, um, real comfortable. Uh, I didn't have a problem getting them in and out. Um, even on the sides, a lot of times they're kind of a pain. It wasn't too bad to get these in and out of the sides. Um, I think as long as there's going to be overlap, they will be a little bit harder than it is right here in the front, but not too bad. I, I enjoyed the bag when I used it. Um, that kind of takes care of the front. Uh, the bottom of the bag has some uh, like little feet, um, if you will. They're real hard plastic or maybe even rubber. I'm not really sure what material are, but um, uh, the, the bottom of the bag um, you know, seems seem to be sewn well. Um, it's kind of your standard standard uh, bottom there. But uh, in all, like I said, I, I used the bag one time. Uh, really liked it. Um, oh, before I forget here, turn this thing around. You gotta. This is one of the most important things I almost forgot. Your uh, the straps on here. They're comfortable. They do have. Uh, 
uh, a similar pattern. Um, they're definitely sewn in here. You can't you can't uh, see this too well, but you can tell they've been sewn multiple times in this area. So they're they're really beefy. It's got a handle on where you can lift it up, uh, like so. Um, you've got some pads on the back here. Uh, really good support. Uh, I found that this bag actually fits a little higher on my back than the other ones, which for me it was perfect. Uh, if you notice here, you've got two Velcro straps. These are for if you're going to put this bag on a cart. Um, you stick the main part of the cart straight up through there. Uh, worked out really well. 